Hey guys, welcome back to PTN. It's Phoenix and Matthias. Uh, Matthias is kindling. Uh, bring you guys. I'm another toasting my buns. <laughs> it's very toasty. Uh, we're in another teach the noob, guys. And as you'll notice, you're gonna hear some bat noises in advance. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move out of the zone as soon as I explain this. But there are bats up for the Halloween event, and they are just screeching above my head and driving me nuts. Uh, this teach the noob I wanted to bring to Matthias's attention is the World v World points and experience system. So Matthias, first thing I'm gonna direct your attention to, very top middle of your screen, there's a yep. very thin blue bar above the experience meter, well, sort of darkish blue, that fills up. That's your world v. world experience and progression. Okay. Each level is 5,000 experience points. It never goes up, it never goes down. It's 5,000 points to level up, okay? And you know what? I'm just going to show this real quick so we can get out of here. These bats drive me nuts. Come over here to the Laurel Merchant. I'm just going to talk to him real quick and go to the bottom page of his selection there. All the bags there you see sending gear. The bottom says Liquid XP. For 50 World v. World badges and two laurels, you can actually buy yourself a free level up. The taste of Liquid World experience is 5,000 points of experience. So it's actually a free level up that you can trade your badges and laurels for if you want. Yeah, okay, so if I say, like, right now my World v. World experience is, is on the last bar, and I've just got a tick more to go to level up, mm -hmm. if I bought this, would it just kind of push me over that little limit, or would it give me a full level right back to where I am. Full level right back to where you are, so nothing okay. is wasted. Now on top of that, they added these new consumables that look a lot like those jars, except, you know, smaller or larger uh, bins, out in the world that give people levels. And I'm sorry, okay. Matthias, I abandoned you. Those bats were driving me nuts. Oh, <laughs> shoot, I didn't notice. <laughs> uh, end result is, they're all throughout the world and they're consumable that give you more experience. And that's because the levels pretty much for this are kind of infinite. You just keep going. And they're right. used towards something really cool. I'm going to get you hit B and open your World v. World menu and go over to Ranks and Abilities, that tab we skipped over in one of our previous videos. Oh, I've got four things. Now, if you take a look here, you're going to notice there's a shitload of skills in here, and they keep adding them. There is mastery for almost every single siege weapon. There's supply capacity increases. There's defense against guards or guard killer. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in here to make yourself more specialized in certain things. Each one will cost a different level per point you put into it. So, for example... Okay. The viewers can kind of see here, I'm on defense against guards. So the first level cost me, uh, well, uh, you know, guilt, guard killer is the same thing, so we'll just go up to there. The first level costs you one point, but if you highlight the second level, it'll cost you a total of three, because the next one costs two, and so on and so forth. So if you go all the way to the end, it'll actually tell you the total cost in level ups and points to max that tier, okay? Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of points, but at the same time, levels come actually very quickly. You earn a lot of experience for capturing stuff, and with those consumables, as well as the jars you can buy, you level up really fast. I just got back into World v. World, and I went from rank 20 to 111 in a, about, oh, yeah. a, about a week. It was just because I kept getting those consumables. They're just a great drop. Right. Now, okay. Oh, you sounds like you have a question. No, not really. No, okay. I, I felt like I cut you off there. Sorry about that. Um, it's something I did want to point out, though. Each thing has something different. So let's go to Guard Killer and just highlight that one again, just for the sake of you know consistency here. So 1% damage to guards for level 1. Ooh, ah. And then 2%, then 3%, then 4%. But when we get to 5, or sorry, is it 5 or is it... Ah, I think it's six. 6. Yeah. All Guard Killer bonuses are now affect enemy lords and supervisors, as opposed to just the guards. Okay, that's nifty. But let's keep going up here. So 7%. And then, bam, at 8, gain 50% of your endurance back after killing guards and lords. Okay, so we got a cool ability now. But the biggest thing is stuff at the end, and I love this stuff. That's why I'm going for defense against guards. So Guard Killer, when you max it, every time you kill a guard, you add a stack of something called Guard Leech. And what this does increases your power and condition damage by 20 for each stack, and you can have five stacks of that. Huh. Meanwhile, Defense Against Guards is the same thing, except it gives you a stack of 50 vitality. So, if you get those both maxed, you walk in, kill five guards, you've got an extra 100 condition damage, extra 100 power, and extra 250 vitality. You're a force to reckon with all of a sudden, and all you do is kill some guards and put some points into it. Yeah. Mind you, Regal did something else. He went towards, where is it? I, I want to find it to show it off, because it's very unique. Uh, Supply Master, down near the bottom. Now, once again... The first point, pick up supply faster. Ooh, ah. Gain swiftness <laughs> after spending your supply. Okay, oh, that's, cool. that's okay. Uh, gain improved swiftness when picking up supply. But the big thing is right there on four. Have a chance to recover spent supply when spending. So as you're spending it, there's a chance you actually won't spend it at all. Which is huge huh. when you're building stuff. So Regal sometimes will crit. He calls it critting. He'll crit <laughs> several times and not spend any supply. And then you get to the end there. Deployed siege sites are invulnerable for a f short duration. That's, that's pretty handy. That's very handy. The fact is, each tier has some very unique mechanics that they can add to the battlefield. And usually when you're in a Zerg and fighting these people, there goes Regal. 
Shout out to Regal. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> he oh. just, just walked by Hello. Lover's World. <laughs> Shout out to him. He'll see this video after and uh, see himself. <laughs> the fact is, with that, uh, these these unique buffs, as you're attacking a wall, for example, ram mastery, if someone has the flame ram up to max, it can put vulnerability on doors, so they're taking more damage. So people yeah. will actually call out in the Zerg who has ram mastery, and those people will jump in and take the ram as opposed to other players because it's more beneficial for the team. Not necessary, but it's a lot cooler to specialize in something and to do it right. So honestly, I think this is my favorite part of World vs. World, the skills, the points, the experience. I just think it's fantastic to know about this. If you're in New World vs. World, you gotta know about this. Okay. Well, yes. <laughs> Four points. Gotta use um, them wisely. Yeah, you're not gonna get too much, but uh, an important thing no. to note that so far I've noticed, now I can't guarantee this, but something that I've noticed so far. Every time uh, Guild Wars 2 adds a new thing on here, so let's say they come in and they add, I don't know, a new mastery of some sort onto the, the bar here. Whenever they do that, they reset everyone's points. That doesn't mean Whoa. you start at level 1. It just means you get all your points back to spend on what you want, because let's say that new ability is something you really wanted to put experience into. Well, instead mm -hmm. of it making you re-grind everything just to get that one tier you'd rather specialize in, they reset the points to let people pick them. Now, that's happened the past two times this has happened. I'm not sure if it'll continue. I hope it does, because maybe they'll add something I really want to put some experience into but you know we'll have to wait and see that's something we can't guarantee <laughs> so is there an item or something that could let us reset all of these as far as i'm aware not you yet no? not not as of yet there are trait resets and skill resets for all our other stuff but there isn't one for the world v world that i'm aware of now maybe the live okay. one i hope so maybe they'll watch this and go you know what that's a great idea and charge some gems <laughs> for it if only. <laughs> if only. But I would love to have the ability to reset it. As far as I'm aware, there isn't a way. If there is and I don't know about it and our viewers are watching this, please leave in the comments below how I can do it. That would be fantastic to know. But as far as I'm aware, you can't reset these. All right? Any other questions with ice? No, I think so. That's, uh, or I think not, rather. There we go. Fair enough. There you I'm go. Uh, so time, cool. to time to grind some points. What do you say? Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.